so here in this class or that means out of class activity we are going to see lr parser the continuation of what we had uh, seen in the previous class so i start with the lr of one parser i mean so how to construct the table i mean uh, item sets i capital i represents item sets the canonical collection has to be generated depending upon uh, depending upon the const conditions given here so here the capital i j represents item sets that item set capital a derives x dot x is the first non terminal symbol which was read and again now we are going to read the symbol y this has to be recognized as x and y is it means we have read completed x and y is it to be read right so here you can see a grammar uh, that e derives t plus e or t and t derives id so here e and t are non terminals id is uh, plus is uh, plus and id or terminal symbols now we need to construct the augmented grammar that is s dash uh, is is equal to e because always uh, do not start with the starting symbol so instead we are using s dash so generate augmented grammar now uh, for the non terminal such as s dash e and t construct first and follow as we had now do, now we had studied in the previous time case so id is a uh, what is a terminal symbol eof represents end of file now lr of uh, uh, one uh, possible states or uh, now mentioned here yes state s0 consists of uh, s dash e and t so here possibility of e followed by a dollar symbol that means end up with just e or e is getting expanded as t plus e all right or e is replaced as t then t is replaced as id uh, followed by a plus symbol or uh, uh, now what is it terminated with single terminal symbol similarly for the states s1 s2 and s3 also we have uh, drafted using the first and follow functions now come to the go to function here the go to function start with uh, the state s0 find out the closures of state yes so from the state yes we will always reach uh, the next uh, the starting symbol that is e so now read e from state s0 s0 actually indicates lr of 0 from which uh, now read the first symbol so the first symbol could be capital e or capital t or id so from s0 we will reach either and uh, say go you know by reading e we will go to s1 or uh, by reading t we will go to s2 and by reading id we will go to s3 respectively and in the second iteration uh, we will be at stationed at s2 uh, from s2 there is only one possibility that the symbol plus can be read so ultimately the next state has to be a new state that is s4 during the iteration s4 and uh, i say 3 from the state s4 i'll uh, will try to read uh, the id capital e and capital d means id is a terminal symbol whereas e and t are non terminal subsequently we have the states s3 s5 and s2 getting mapped down to it so the corresponding example for uh, uh, the action and go to table of lr of one parse ta lr parse table is that now again we write the augmented grammar like 0 1 2 3 or otherwise uh, g1 g2 g3 like that now here which is meant for actually you know easy representation easy understanding so here you can see the action and go to table uh, starting with the state s s not if you are having uh, the, what is a the terminal as id then always you should go for the third option that is you uh, know uh, third is t derives id so so it has to shift when you when when you are having the symbol id in the stack that has to be popped out and to be replaced by what is a capital t that is shift process 
so likewise for the other the other states also we we'll, we have to what is a fill in with the shift and reduce operations and similarly for go to and then using this uh, set of uh, states construct the, the dfa just like how we have uh, constructed earlier then now there was a problem called uh, con uh, what is a conflict in in uh, say in, in the form of uh, what operation to be performed either shift operation or reduce operation so this conflict happens in uh, happens with, with very few lr items it not there in and uh, say it won't be there in most of the items very few items are there so depending upon the parts or we need to choose the lr of items that means we now we need to go for the look ahead process that means what will be coming up so look ahead gives the next possible symbol such as follow or uh, is it a combination of uh, follow and first or follow and follow uh, for lr of zero it will be a conflict now we need to go to slr grammar of former only that means a simple lr grammar simple lr parsing system so simple lr parsing system uses uh, what is a shift reduce uh, and a conflict as follow and first whereas if if you have a reduce after reduce conflict it will be follow or and followed by and the follow and follow so likewise uh, we can use uh, uh, the corresponding function to identify how that uh, what is a shift reduce or reduce reduce conflict to be solved now here you can see an example of uh, uh, how that uh, shift reduce uh, process is shift reduce or reduce reduce conflict is then here you can see a reduce reduce conflict Uh, which is solved using the state yes one similarly thank you